Nerve transfers offer an exciting possibility for reconstruction following mid-cervical tetraplegia. Following a spinal cord injury, there is damage to the spinal cord resulting in loss of anterior horn cells and effectively Wallerian degeneration and a lower motor neuron lesion of the injured metamere. The infralesional segment behaves like an upper motor neuron lesion with loss of downward inhibition but the neural pathway is intact and this may extend the window for nerve surgery. Now the brachial plexus from C5 to T1 supplies all of the motor innervation to the upper limb. The peripheral nerves supply the muscle groups and following a cervical spine injury when there's C5-6 involvement if the C5 and C6 nerve roots are protected and preserved then there's preservation of function in deltoid, biceps, brachialis and also supinator. These can be used as donors for nerve transfer. The first type of nerve transfer could be taking a branch from the axillary nerve and rerouting this into the long head of triceps. The second commonest is taking a nerve from the brachialis and rerouting this into the anterior interosseous component of the median nerve for finger flexion and the supinator branches directly into the rest of the posterior interosseous nerve for finger extension.